Bro. Okay, you're so next. Okay, I wanted to look at this game because Karyakin prepared the whole game. I do that too, except for one thing. I don't prepare anything. <laughs> so they played a million moves of the Berlin. And I know what the new moves are because Anon said so. Oh, that's good. And Anon claimed to have invented the move Rook H6, but he didn't even think it was the best move. He just said it became really popular because he played it first. Okay. So in this position, there's a lot of games, a lot of games, and Anon claims he played this move first, and now it's like one, the main line or one of the main lines. You're, you know, you're going to take back with the Rook if they take, and Rook G6... And, you know, so forth. And this is what Karyakin played. Now, if you said, name the players in the world who know the Berlin the best, probably these guys are in the top three. I was thinking Vichy would be the other one. Vichy's yeah. good, and probably Magnus knows a lot because yeah, of World Championship prep. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, these two... Yeah, these two are up there. Yeah, Karyakin's playing white and black, I think. And MVL's MVL notoriously good with white. Yeah, in game. yeah. Okay, so he played here. Now, every move, Karyaka moved instantly. So he was oh, gaining man. time on the clock. Yeah. In this position, MVL fought 30 minutes. Okay. In this position. And he played G4, which is fine. And like the rest of the game, Karyaka just moved instantly. Now, according to Anand, Knight H4 is the move. Well, Kramnik doesn't play anymore. Like, yeah. Know, yeah, Kramnik, like, yeah, he quit. Now, knight h4 is the normal move, according to Anand. The engine agrees. Yeah. So he took this, which people were claiming was a novelty. And if it's, it, if it transposes after knight h4, but he played okay. knight d4. Uh, uh, okay. And this has definitely never occurred before. They've okay. never had knight d4. Yeah, the never. engine doesn't like it. Right. Well, yeah, but he prepared yeah, the whole yeah, obviously. game. Right, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now MVL's thinking again. Now that's great prep, though, if you find something the right. engine doesn't like, but it's a draw. Yeah. So he so. played here, which is the right move. Well, C exactly five. Yep. And this is this is what yep, the engine yep. says. This yeah, says white because white does win a pawn. Right. Yeah. He prepared everything. He just said, "Yeah, take my pawn." Okay. All right. Yeah. He's still moving instantly. Wow. Every move instant. I mean, I can't yeah. even imagine playing these guys. Yeah. Just, what's the point? Yeah. This is, <laughs> and he still he still has more time than he started he knows with. So much. Play so yeah. great. Now Vichy was trying to win with white. By doing this crazy stuff, which I think happened. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, the stuff that he was... Because he well, played he, B4... He's not playing the game as well. Yeah, he, he, <laughs> yeah, he play, yeah because Avishi was suggesting all of this before it happened. Yeah. He's like, well, you know, A5 and Rook C3 and Rook C4. Mm -hmm. He said the only thing White can do is, like, defend the pawn and then go win this. Yeah. And Vishy was actually looking at doing it now and just giving this pawn away. Um but mm -hmm. I didn't, but that, you know. And in fact, the engine says that too. That plays Rook D2. Yeah. It's oh, Rook D2 defending. Yeah. Yeah, that uh, seems passive. Yeah. But anyway, I mean, this is still his prop, so I'm sure right, he had every right, move right, ready. Right, right. Yeah. He even has B4 and stuff? Not an engine move? Yeah, yeah, Compare? B4 B4 was suggested, like, as, yeah. like, the main move I by Anon. The second move. He thought that this was a good idea for yeah. White. And he thought white, black had to do this and then play king d7, king e6. Wow. Anand was showing this like way before it happened. Yeah. He says, yeah, it is a draw. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. pawns are all weak. He thought white could try to win by tickling him, but right. he didn't see a way to tickle him. Like he was right. like, I, I got to do something, but he couldn't find anything. No. Yeah. Wow. I mean, so he probably made like three moves that game. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, and, and MVL was using all of his time because he was trying, and g4 yeah. he thought forever. Yeah. Hmm. So, yeah, Karyakin, uh, pretty well prepared. I mean, this uh, some of these guys just spend a lot of time preparing stuff. They spend hours yeah. and hours and hours. They don't now, like to lose. in Karen's opinion, of the 50 players who played in the tournament. Uh, today? Right? Today, yeah, the, you know, yeah. this tournament. Who prepared the most for it? This is an easy one. Right. Probably Spencer. Right. Yeah. And then who won the tournament? Spencer. Right. And that's, <laughs> you put a lot of work into your game, it, it shows. And a lot of you guys are like, I want my GM coach to tell me how to win and make it less than 10 seconds because <laughs> Arby's is closing in 20 minutes. And I'm like, you know, if, if, if a GM 
could tell a class player how to get 300 points better in one lesson, everybody would be 300 points better. But instead, I, I walk in here and there's illegal moves and the flags falling and uh, you moved your rook there. No, I didn't. And so forth. That you know? does happen. And that guy's opening his water bottle and that's bothering me. These are things that happen. Yeah. His flip-flops are too noisy. Yeah, yeah, the guy's walking and his <laughs> flip-flops, you know, that's that's what we got here. Not like I analyzed 30 moves ahead, and, you know. Yeah, memorized everything. 